January 15th, Sunday, Martin Luther King birthday. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. We are. All right, yeah. we're just going to hit it with the, the quick hand flash so you know where to switch the video over. <laughs> you going live with it? Yeah, we out here. Yeah. Are we live now? Nah, yeah. yeah. Oh, That's why I did yeah. the hand, the little hand flash. Yeah. So he can catch it, and then when he see that in the editing, he know when to go and like do the edit. So now you're going to do a second one. So when you catch the second hand flash, that hell no. Let's get so you mic'd up with the, uh, up with the ghetto mic. The ghetto mic, man. The ghetto mic. Everybody give it up, man. Let's give it up for the ghetto mic, man. Let's give it up. The ghetto mic, man. Ghetto yes, mic. Uh, What's to it, y'all? What's to it, man? Closer you hold it to your mouth, the better. Closer hold it. Yeah, you right. <laughs> and then the, the speaker part is, uh, you know, the better part. Yeah, you right. Speaker part is uh, right here. Nah, I bet. It's those three. So if you speak into them, oh, man. it'll be the most clearest. Oh, say yeah, less. Bro. That's why when you be sound like, you be seeing, uh, uh, Chris too smooth and shit. He'd be like, hey, yo, Kanye, talk to me smooth. Oh, yeah, man, talk to me yeah. smooth. But he'd be having the phone like that. Okay, okay. So that's how you get that. Good I, see a lot of, I see a lot of niggas do that, though. Yeah. That's been a new trend, though. When they walk up interviewing them at, like, the gas stations and shit, dudes be having, like, the C7 Corvettes, C8 Corvettes and shit. I said I want to do that, but we ain't Gary. <laughs> you don't even <laughs> see no C8s in Gary at no gas stations. I'm cool on that. You know they scamming if they ain't Gary with a C8. Cash, man, that hoodie crazy, man. Yeah, yeah I definitely peeped it. That motherfucker nice. The, oh, the nip? Yes, yeah. Man. Rest in peace to the nip, nip. Man. Big RIPs. Yeah, that motherfucker is funny, though. Man, I got this shit from the, it's from the mall out here, cuz. The um, South Lake Mall. Yeah, the Westfield now. South Lake Westfield. Surprised they even got them type of hoodies in there. It was this one random ass store. I, I think they still there, but dude had like few it was like five and he think he was selling these for like 150 and then of course you know they say you buy right now yeah i do 75 like, how the fuck you drop 50 no. percent <laughs> give it to me right I now for 60. you don't get no business for real i got it for 60. no it's just that cream color it's hard to it is bro but them dark wash blue jeans man oh yeah oh, man. them ball mains man come on oh, man okay okay all right ball main right. denim nigga right. shit thing, man. gotta all hit them right. man I ain't got no Amari yet. Uh, Shit. Niggas, yeah. Hey, I ain't even gonna lie, though. Them joints, them Forever 21s and shit, my nigga. They be having some decent-ass motherfucking uh, some, reg <laughs> some regular-ass slacks, nigga. For real. He said, all right. That's that ball main <laughs> That's that BM for playing shit. You over there with the uh, with the Versace's and the Basquiat's and shit. I do the Balenci's, the ball mains. This, this polo. Yeah, we ain't gonna talk about the pearls though. Oh, fucking ah. awesome. Man, you can polo. the pearls. Polo. Polo per polo per. <laughs> 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 I, uh, I guess we can move this camera around. Man. Yeah. Come on, man, Mr. Gold Chain, man. Oh no, this this ain't nothing. It's like Buddy Dyson, man. We up in here, man. Yeah, man. Give it up for Gold like Chain, man. Give it Mr. up for Gold man. Chain. Funny as hell. My nigga Dyson, man. <laughs> What's going yeah, on, man. Dice, man? Shit, man. Same shit, different toilet, you know. Not too crazy, man. Living life, being a barber, you know. Man, when your hair get this long? I was trying to figure it out my damn self. Like, bruh, your shit long as, as hell, long as hell. Bruh. It's all right, man. I can do. Your shit is six foot, seven foot, eight foot. Yeah, man, hey, you it got to match my so height, So I, I got a question. When you go on your height to get measured and everything, we know you play football. And they do your height. Do they measure the hair too? So you like seven foot now with the tall hair? <laughs> kind of sort of. I got you. Kind of sort of, man. Seven foot Dyson, man. Yeah, with the hair, it's probably like, I'm probably like six five. I feel it. Man. Six five and a half. Yeah, you like, you definitely want to, uh, yeah, I think you, I think you the tallest, the tallest person. Damn near. I'm damn near probably like an inch over Wayne. Hell, you taller than Wayne? He really is? I think so, yeah. Man, I would say stand up, but we sitting down on camera. That's going to throw everything off. You taller than Wayne? It don't even seem like it, bro. Wayne is a big nigga. Maybe it's just because Wayne wider. Wayne wider. Yeah. I, I, well, I you play football that. too, right? Mm hmm I play semi-pro. Semi? Wait, shit. I didn't know that. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What, what team was this on? Lake County Warriors. We play, uh, we play out there at Crown Point. Well, our game's at Crown Point, and we practice at Bailey. So... 
Word. How long you do it for? I've been playing football then all my life, but semi pro I've probably been playing for about seven, eight years. What was your number, bro? Number and position. Oh man. Shit. Numbers go better. Go numbers go better, yeah. It's like, you know what I'm saying? We play we gotta pay to play, first of all. Which ain't a bad thing because we gotta help coach get uniforms, help pay for the field, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So I, I set this sum out because my body wasn't ready. So I play DN, and the number, like I said, the number just varies. Now, why you say your body wasn't ready? Because I was working out and I was eating garbage. <laughs> I wasn't in the gym and running and eating healthy like I was supposed to, so I wasn't trying to break no ligaments and do all this other shit. So thank God I ain't got no major injuries. Haven't been injured in I don't know how long. Body be sore, though, but that just come with it from not playing for a whole year. Other than that, it's pretty decent. You been injured before? I sprained my meniscus. I was playing mm. basketball though. <clears throat> See your knee. Yeah. LCL. L, um, well, which one was it? Was it the lateral? No. Oh wait, wait you told you no, meniscus. Just, That's no, more in the center, center, right? Yeah. yeah. I just I, I didn't tear it. I just sprained it. Oh shit. So I was I was I was sitting down for about six or seven months. <clears throat> Damn. That's a long time. Man, and what? Walking around on crutches. You know how hard it is to go upstairs with crutches? Dog, stairs, all that shit. Man, I had a knee scope. I tore my LCO wrestling. Then I had a, a, a scope on my hip two times. Yeah, so I know how that shit is, bro. bro and then I couldn't bend my leg. I had, to, I had to walk with it half bent. I couldn't straighten it out. Then I fucked around. Didn't pick the cover up, I feel. Damn. Yeah. Then it, made, then it forced it to go back, bro. I was in pain. Yeah, so like what got you on like the path to recovery? Like how you how you get back where you at now? <clears throat> Therapy, bro. Therapy and getting back in the gym. Cause it's not it sucks now because regardless if I work out or not, this leg is still gonna be stronger than this leg. I still got inflammation in my knee, so I gotta get that drained out. Then I'll be sitting down for like another month, maybe two. So I work out, get this knee back to where it's at. But what really got me Wanted to play again, bro. Was just like I, I started playing flag because I was I was scared to play contact football because I didn't know if because I'm a tall dude, you know what I'm saying? Niggas going for your legs and ankles and shit. So I just I just knew that one hit was gonna fuck me up. So just for the reference, so so they know how tall you are. How how, how tall are you? Six four. Six foot four. So you gonna be wearing cleats and shit still playing too, right? So probably six six. Yeah, probably so. Somewhere around there. I say about six five. That's still pretty steep. And then you playing flag. <laughs> And then, I, play, I play contact. I play flag because I was scared to play contact. Got you. So even still, when you doing that, what you you easy like what, two forty? Close, about like two thirty. Yeah. So I mean, you still got some power, some speed. So I mean, shit, you got time. You still got time to get with it again. Oh yeah, facts. Like we uh, we actually got training camp. I just ain't been able to make it because I got to work on the weekends. So we got training camp. It's like you know what I'm saying. It's like a regular. Regular football, uh, training camp and practice, preseason, then our season start. Damn, okay, decent. And then is your season like similar to like regular NFL or y'all got different time frames? Yeah, we just play. Well, we just, we play where it's, it's almost it's, it's similar to college because we play every Saturday. You know what I'm saying? Uh, gotcha. Games start between five and six and about seven, eight, depending. Uh, we, we travel. They ever air anything like live? type of deals you know what i mean uh, uh yeah sometimes i think we starting to well i think my coach is starting to try to get that on, on track now um or we have somebody on their phone going live you know what i'm saying just share it to the facebook page so everybody can see it got you decent so i mean besides that then like what you got be going on in like side life i guess I